What's up guys? Hashtag Peregrine Falcon Lover. And today I'm with my dog Cody. He's going to get a bath. So I'm going to show you how to give a dog a bath. So what you'll need is some shampoo. Conditioner is optional. I have this dog conditioner and this dog shampoo. Make sure it's for dogs specifically because human shampoo has the wrong pH and it's harmful to dog's skin. So you also need treats. Here bud. I got these really nice canine carryouts. Very yummy. Right, Cody? And you also need your bath or shower. I prefer using the bath because it's just a little easier and he does not like the water that sprays out everywhere of the faucet. So fill up your bath with water and then get your dog inside the tub. Then you're going to take a cup. Oh, I forgot to mention you also need a cup. It's important. You take a cup and you start getting them a little wet. So very nice and gentle. From head to toe, head to tail, I should say. These toes are already in the water. So. so you're almost done with that. You're very gentle around his eyes. Ah, that's good boy. Good boy. Make sure you praise him. Make sure you praise him whenever he does something good. Or she, but I'm going to use the term him. Rinse it off, yeah. You got him all wet, so that's good. Set your cup aside. And then you got to take your dog shampoo. Wet your hands. It's just a lot easier and it feels a lot better. Take your dog shampoo, put it on their back, on their head, ankle, from on their tail, legs. And then his ears, he doesn't really like this, but his ears need to stay soft. And so then you take your fingernails and your fingers, you gently scrub like this. He's a good boy. You just use your fingers like this. You move along, you scrub pretty hard, but not to where he's discomforted. Make sure he's still in his comfort zone. You don't want him to go outside of his comfort zone because if he does, he, do, he won't want to take a bath anymore. And he might jump out on you or do something else, but you don't want that. So just rub him down real nice. Use your nails if you need to. I always use my nails. Oh yeah, I know, bud. And then once again, praise your dog. He's, he's doing this. It's, dogs don't really like getting baths. Well, my dog doesn't anyway. But yours might, yours might not, but anyway, once you're done, you rinse off your hands in the tub water. Then you take a cup, and then you rinse them off. Okay. Turn them around a little if you want. Rinse them off. Just don't use your nails, but use your hands. You pet, use a petting motion like that. So make sure you go forwards and backwards. But mostly go forwards. If, if you go backwards, it gets the shampoo out of the hairs that are um, facing different directions. And it'll get more shampoo out of it. So you just have to be very, very gentle. This is our to wash the tail, do everything. My poor pup has a crooked tail. We got him this way, so don't leave a comment saying, Your dog has a crooked tail. Why? So, you have to rinse his head. You have to be very gentle on this part, especially on his ears, because you don't want to get water in his ears. Just be very gentle. Don't get it in his eyes. Like this. Be very gentle. Very carefully, you scoop back, bud. Scoop back. There you go. There you go. It's not that bad. No, scoop back. There we go. Rinse his ears. There you go, Cody. Scoop back. Then you gotta take his head, look up a little, and then gently don't put the water in his eyes, but go very slowly like that. If you want, you can cover his eyes and very gently put get the shampoo off his head. 
Just give him breaks in between because the water flows down to his nose, which he may sneeze. So give him some breaks in between. Just keep rinsing off his body. Go everywhere you scrub. You rinse very thoroughly. Especially on his little puppy parts. That's where he goes to the bathroom. That gets very dirty. So now, you've got to give him a treat. So why not? You gotta reward him. He just went through the shampoo part. Here you go, bud. What a good dog. What a good dog. You can continue rinsing a little bit. Just make sure you get all the shampoo off. All of it. If you don't, then the shampoo will make his fur very greasy and you don't want that. So now, if you have conditioner, use your conditioner. If not, you can always use more shampoo. But what I like to do, I love the smell of this conditioner. It's like baking soda and oatmeal or something like that, but it's really nice. You just put it the same way on his body as you did the shampoo, on his ears, on his head, from his head to tail, his legs, and that. Except for this, you're not going to scratch with your, oh, don't shake, bud. You're not going to scratch with your nails, you're just going to rub gently, kind of like you're massaging it into his body like this. And you're gently going to Rub it on his head and in his ears, like that. Good boy. Good boy. But for dogs who don't like baths, you just you just have to be very gentle with them and praise them a lot because I love getting praised. So once you're done with that, you rinse your hands in the tub and then you start rinsing. Once again, you, you can go mostly one direction, but you can every so once in a while, you can go backwards because it gets the rest of the soap out of his fur. Rinse in there, rinse up all the stuff. Good boy. Good boy. Here's his tail. Be very gentle and rinse his ears again. Because if you don't get all the soap, it gets greasy. Like I've already said. Especially with conditioner. Conditioner is making his fur smooth. Oh, but chin up. You're okay. And then when you get to his head, you could cover his eyes or make him look up. But my dog does not like me to look up. Does not like looking up. So you just go like that. You very gently rinse. Try not to get the water in his eyes. It's soapy, but you just keep doing that until all the conditioner is gone. And then what you left is a soft pup, very soft pup. After you're all done with that, you reward him with a treat, and he's almost done. Good go, bud. Good boy. Now you can drain the tub. And then I'd recommend, no, don't shake, Cody. Ugh. Now I'd recommend putting his treats on the counter so he doesn't get to them. And then put a towel on the ground where he's going to stand once he's out of the tub. So do that. Don't shake, don't shake, no, no. Don't do it. Do not do it. Have them hop out with me. Jesus. Ugh. Cody! Ugh. Okay, come on, hop out. Hop out. Ready. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, no shake. Don't no shake.
Here you go. Oh, don't go yet. Don't go yet. Okay. So you have your dog, you caught him. Oh boy, oh my gosh. Get on top of him. Just start drying off all your body. Just start drying very much. Like a little blow dryer. Oh yes. What a good boy. Look at the camera. Look right here. Oh no. Cody, stop. Don't go yet. Not on the wood floors. Not the wood floors. You just gotta dry very, very thoroughly. Make sure you get all the way from his head to his toes to his tail. And then he might be very crazy and fluffy after this. Especially if you have long-haired dogs. My my dog has medium hair, so you just gotta dry him off very nicely. Yeah. Shake it. Shake it, Cody. Shake it. Oh, his tail is still, still not dry. So you gotta dry off his tail more. And then, yeah. Um, He'll dry off himself too, like that. And there you go. Can we take this to the laundry? Yeah. Make sure you put the towels in the laundry. Do that. And then you can give yourself another treat because you just went through that whole bathing process. Here you go, bud. Good boy. Good boy. Good boy. Okay, ready? Come on. Let's go run. Let's run. Let's run around. Run around up there.